Dear friends, chers amis, bonjour. It is with a great resolve and wholehearted enthusiasm that I join you today in reaching out to all Canadians, asking us all to embrace with pride and dignity a new partnership with the First Peoples of our country. A partnership based on our most cherished values of mutual respect, cooperation and justice. Through generations, the original inhabitants of this land have grown the deepest roots on this continent. The day has come to recognize and celebrate this fact, our shared humanity and our shared destiny. I had the privilege of working on uh, Indigenous uh, policy within the federal government over a 20-year career uh, as a public servant. And uh, I became concerned about the uh, level of progress we were making, particularly on socioeconomic issues. I'm particularly concerned that uh, the failure to move more quickly impacts on a generation of Indigenous youth. The other thing that I've learned over uh, the course of my career is that partnership works. It's challenging to achieve. It takes uh, openness and uh, transparency, uh, but the results are worth it. We believe we can create hope and a venue for all Canadians to try to work together, try to understand each other a little more so that we can make some measured progress so that our grandchildren 50 years from now are not gonna be facing the same problems. I believe that Canada, as a broad and generous country, could find the will to repair the damage of that past and build new partnerships if enough of our citizens know and if their eyes are turned to the prize. So I'd ask Indigenous and non-Indigenous people to sign the declaration so that there can be a commitment made to come together with open hearts and open minds to have discussion about painful realities in a way that treats one another with mutual respect, trust, and honesty. A shared understanding is the foundation on which we will build a better tomorrow for all generations to come. Join us by signing this very important declaration that will provide us an opportunity to work together. Why do I think it's important that others sign this declaration? It's important, it's important because in order to show the strength of support for the need to build the country together. It's important to show that there are Indigenous Canadians and non-Indigenous Canadians who want to come together. It's important that our governments see what kind of support there is for the new partnership. It's important that the rest of the world understand that no longer are we going to stand separate from one another and that together we are going to build the greatest country in the world. We have the capacity to do it, but only if we work together. But the declaration, uh, in my opinion, in a way, uh, is just a beginning of creating an, a different understanding, a new understanding, the beginning of getting people to work together for the common good, not just for the good of one, one group in society, but for everybody. And if this is the, you know, the true vision of Canada, then we should make it happen. It's certainly the vision, anyway, of First Nations people and their vision needs to be part of the future of Canada. My appeal to you as a fellow human being is take the time to read the Declaration and sign the Declaration as your act for reconciliation between Aboriginal people and Canada.